What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video here over on Crushables Live. I'll probably be renaming this channel soon, not gonna lie, so you guys know how that goes with me. But today we're gonna be reacting to an article since it is draft day. It's an article that says a 2022 NBA draft day trade that makes sense for every team here on Bleacher Report. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like, and of course, subscribe. If you're new to this channel, it'll be greatly appreciated as I try to grow this one. So let's go ahead and hop right into the article. So this article is written by Grant Hughes over by Bleacher Report. So shout out to him. But yeah, this is a trade for every single team on draft day. I will be live tonight for the NBA draft if you want to hang out with me tonight. But let's go ahead and take a real quick look at the first trade. So the Atlanta Hawks are the ones to start things off. Clay Capella, John Collins, Kevin Herter, number 16 to the Utah Jazz for Rudy Gobert. So the Hawks get Rudy Gobert, but they trade Collins and Capella and Herter and 16. Nah, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this at Atlanta. That's a lot to give up for Rudy Gobert. Let's, let's keep in mind, Rudy Gobert's contract is already pretty bad as it is. I get he's one of the better defensive centers in the NBA, but... If I'm Atlanta, I'm saying no to this. I, I can't do that. That's way too much to give up. Maybe Collins, Herter, and 16 to Gobert, but trading Capella and Collins together, I think is a little too much. The Jazz would be hitting a home run if they were able to uh, hit that for sure. The Boston Celtics. Aaron Naismith to the Magic for number 32. Let's just move on. Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie Irving to the LA Clippers for Robert Covington, Norm Powell. And Zubat. So Kyrie Irving, of course, as we know, may or may not be back with the Brooklyn Nets. It sounds like he won't be uh, based off how contract negotiations are going, which could lead to some things with Kevin Durant going on there. But uh, this trade personally, um, in sign and trade scenarios, sometimes you do lose a little bit of leverage. So I guess if the Nets didn't want to lose Kyrie for nothing, getting Covington, Powell, and Zubac isn't bad. But, I mean, what do you really have over in Brooklyn outside of Kevin Durant? Ben Simmons is technically the second star there, and the man hasn't played basketball in a year. So, I don't know, man. I'm not sure how much I'd love this. I think the Nets need to try to come out with a star and a sign-in trade for Kyrie Irving. I just don't see a star here. This is a bunch of role players. So, I'm good. I don't want to do that. If I'm Brooklyn, I'm resigning Kyrie if I can, or I'm getting a star out of Kyrie Irving. So, next we got... Mason Plumlee, James Booknight, and number 13 to the Indiana Pacers for num or for Miles Turner. Uh, yes, I like this trade, actually. I like this trade a lot. So uh, the Hornets are still looking for a center. They still could draft one, obviously, with number 13. Uh, Miles Turner has been linked to the Hornets for quite some time. Uh, okay, giving up James Booknight be, might be a little too much. If you could do that without trading James Booknight, maybe include P.J. Washington instead. It depends how valuable James Booknight is to the Hornets. They just drafted him last year, so... We really don't know what he's like. I don't even think he got a ton of minutes. So maybe you don't trade Book Knight, but for the most part, I would love to see Charlotte get Miles Turner. I think him and LaMelo Ball could be really cool. So I like that trade a lot. Chicago. I see Jeremy So on here. What's what's this all about? So the trade, Kobe White and number 18 to the New York Knicks for Kimba Walker and number 11. So the Bulls get Kimba Walker, who I assume would come who I assume would come off the bench for them. And then the Knicks get Kobe White and number 18. So then also uh the Bulls have the eleventh overall pick. So I guess they drive Jeremy So on. Is that what they're in? I don't, I don't know if that's what they're insinuating. It's okay. I mean, I think this is just a trade to be doing something. I don't think it's really necessary. What does Kobe White really do for you in New York? Then Kim Walker is, I don't know. I mean, I guess the Bulls move up and they could draft somebody. So maybe, maybe that is could be something. But it's an okay trade. Maybe both teams say yes, but I don't know. Cleveland, uh, Jared Allen to the Toronto's for OG and Anobi. No, 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 man. Cleveland has good thing going with Evan Mobley and Jared Allen in the front court. Don't change that for OG and Anobi. I love OG and Anobi, and also I want him on my Blazers, obviously. But, yeah, I don't like this. I mean, if the Raptors got Jared Allen, that would be freaking awesome for them. They need a center, obviously. But I don't think the Cavaliers should do this. So Cavaliers say no. Toronto might say yes to something like this, though. It depends. Uh, we're going to see if OG and Anobi gets traded tonight for sure. I, I am wondering if it's going to happen. Masai Ujiri said it wasn't going to, and I think they also had another guy, I forget his name, came, came up and said that Ojinobi, there was something going on there. I don't know. Regardless, we'll see what happens, but no, I don't like that for Cleveland. Dallas Mavericks, Dwight Powell in a 2027 first round pick to the Thunder for Kenrich Williams, so just get another 3 and D wing and Kenrich Williams. Trading a first round pick for Kenrich Williams, though, makes me question some things. Dwight Powell, I think, is an expiring contract. So if I'm Dallas, yes, I would like Kenrich Williams, but I don't want to trade a first round pick that... I think the Mavericks already owe first round picks to like the Knicks and stuff. So trading another first for Kenrich Williams, I don't think this is a good idea. They got Christian Wood for a first, which that was a good trade. 
Uh, yeah, no, no thanks. You could probably, I don't know if the Mavericks have their full le full mid-level exception this offseason, but you could probably get a guy like Kenrich Williams in free agency, to be honest with you. So Denver Nuggets, Monte Morris of the Washington Wizards for Catavius Caldwell-Pope. Okay, um, I like this trade. I do. I think Monte Morris in a full, well, actually, he kind of got that role in Denver, and he was okay at it. This doesn't move the needle for Bradley Beal to stay. Monte Morris is actually a point guard they do need. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. But I know the Wizards are very, very heavily involved in trying to get a point guard to pair alongside Bradley Beal to convince him to stay. So this does make a little bit of sense, but I I don't know. I don't see this. I don't see this. I don't see this as a needle for Bradley Beal. Like Bradley Beal ain't seeing this and being like, hey man, that's a great trade. I'm coming back. So it's an okay trade. Uh, the Nuggets get a 3 and D wing and K KCP and the Wizards get the point guard they need. So, yeah, it's not not too bad. Both teams could say yes to this. Detroit Pistons. Uh, we already saw the, how this didn't happen. So, I guess this was written right before the Jeremy Grant trade. Durant to the Pelicans for number eight, Jackson Hayes. And obviously, that was not Jeremy Grant's trade value whatsoever, baby. So, no. Golden State Warriors. They get Kenrich Williams for 28 and 51. A first and 51 going to the Thunder for Kendrick. Is Kendrick Williams like hella underrated or something? I know he's good, but I mean, a late first round pick may not hurt you too much. You probably get a guy, you can maybe get a guy that projects to be better than Kendrick Williams long term, but for the immediate, I guess Kendrick Williams would be nice, but no, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan. All right, Eric Gordon to the Philadelphia 76ers for Danny Green at number 23. W. I think I like this trade for actually both teams, actually. So Eric Gordon helps out Philadelphia in the now. And then Danny Green may not even be back next year. Start the season after tearing his ACL, I believe. And then uh, the Rockets get a first round pick for Eric Gordon. That's a W. I like that a lot. Eric Gordon's contract isn't all that great either. So I actually like this trade a lot. I think Eric Gordon could very well be on the move this offseason. So this is a W trade. I think I like that for both sides. Indiana. So this is back to the Miles Turner thing again. So Miles Turner, number 31, and a 2023 first round pick via Cleveland. The Charlotte Hornets for Gordon Hayward, number 13 and 15. Okay, so you're getting 13 and 15 for taking on Gordon Hayward's contract, which actually the Hornets have been wanting to get off Hayward's contract. So this low key could be a good trade for both teams. And they also get a first round pick in the future. So I actually kind of like this trade. The, Horn the, the Pacers take on Gordon Hayward, who probably won't play a huge role in Indiana. I mean, as soon as they could buy him out or trade him, I'm sure they would. But they get 13 and 15 to add alongside Halliburton. And then uh, Duarte and whatever else they got going on over there. Obviously, there's more players just can't think of right now. But yeah, I kind of like this trade. They're going to be able to draft at six, and then they'll have 13 and 15. Low key, kind of like this trade for both sides. And then Charlotte gets their center and Miles Turner, like we said earlier. Clippers, Mark Morris and number 43 to the Pelicans for Devontae Graham. No, the Clippers love their switchable wings. Why trade Marcus Morris? I mean, yeah, no, I don't like this at all. I mean, like I said, the Clippers love their switchable wings. Devontae Graham wasn't even playing rotational minutes for the Pelicans, so. I don't like that one. Los Angeles Lakers, Kendrick Nunn, THT, and a 20 round first round pick to the Toronto Raptors for Gary Trent Jr. I think the Raptors say no to this. I think the Lakers would easily do this trade, but the Raptors, no. Why would you trade Gary Trent Jr.? I mean, don't make the same mistake my Blazers did, okay? We traded Gary Trent Jr. for Norm Powell, which Norm Powell, whatever, he was fine. And then we traded Norm Powell for nothing, basically. So we gave up Gary Trent Jr. for nothing. Don't do the same mistake my Blazers did. Masai Ujiri is way smarter than Neil Shea, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Grizzlies get OG and Obi for Dylan Brooks, 22-20. Oh, dude, if the Grizzlies could get OG and Obi to pair alongside John Morant and Jaron Jackson, that would be awesome. But OG and Obi's going to the Blazers, let's be honest. Miami Heat. Oh, Tyler, Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry. Whoa, okay. Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, 27 and 2023 first round pitch the Wizards for Bradley Beal. No, I don't think you trade Kyle. I, I get Kyle Lowry wasn't great in the playoffs, but he was also kind of injured, so... I think you give the benefit of the doubt there. And then I think you include Duncan Robinson in this trade instead. I don't think you trade Lowry. I think you include Duncan Robinson in this trade. And then you have something going. The Wizards walk away to Tyler Hero. He, they, you know, start their rebuild. I personally would want more first round picks from Washington, but getting Tyler Hero is really nice. So yes, I have uh, done a rebuild over this kind of trade before in the past. So I actually kind of like it. Um, you get Tyler Hero first round picks, but I would substitute Lowry for Duncan Robinson. Milwaukee Bucks, Brooke Lopez, number 24, 2 million of salary filler to the Houston Rockets for Eric Gordon. So uh, the Bucks would essentially move on from Brooke Lopez, bring in a wing like Eric Gordon. Not too bad. And then the Rockets get a 24th overall pick. Yeah, I like it. 
Minnesota Timberwolves, D'Angelo Russell has been on the trade market and uh, doesn't sound like anything's happening so far, but we got D'Angelo Russell and number 19 to the New York Knicks for Evan Fournier, Derrick Rose, and number 11. So you got Derrick Rose and Evan Fournier headed to Minnesota while the Timberwolves also get back number 11 and then the Knicks get D'Angelo Russell number 19. That's actually not a bad trade. Not sure how uh, valuable D'Angelo Russell is nowadays. It's not terrible. I kind of like it for the Knicks. Actually, I kind of like it for both sides in a way. Yeah, not a bad trade. Uh, I think I'd say yes from both teams. I think it's uh, cool for Minnesota to move up in the draft. And then and despite just giving up number 11, you actually move down and you still get D'Lo on top of that for the Knicks. Yeah, I kind of like it. And then you get Fournier and uh, Derrick Rose's contract off your books as well. Pelicans, Miles Turner. Valanciunas is number eight to the Indiana Pacers for Miles Turner. No, not doing this. Uh, I don't want to trade number eight and Joe Val. I think Joe Val is a good center. So I would just rather keep Joe Val and then draft somebody at number eight if I'm New Orleans. If I can trade Joe Val and like, Something else for Miles Turner? Sure. But I don't want to trade a lottery pick and Joe Val for Miles Turner. So if Indiana could do that, sure. But no, I, I don't think the Pelicans should do that. All right, here we go. New York Knicks, they move up to number four. So this was kind of a rumor that I was talking about. They trade number 11, 2023 via the Mavericks, and a lottery protected 2024 for the Kings for number four. If I'm the Kings, I bro, I don't know what the Kings are going to do at number four is the thing. Hopefully, Wojnowski doesn't spoil it, like, spoil it like he did at number three or like the first three picks because technically the draft tonight, I think, starts at four because we know the first three picks. There's going to be one of those three bigs, obviously. Uh, but this one, it's not a bad trade. I'm just not sure if this is enough for the Kings to say yes. And of course, the Kings are also looking to get veteran help. So maybe Jewish Randall included this trade moves the needle. And I don't know, man. Jewish Randall and Sabonis, though, would be a disaster. So... Who knows? It's the Kings, though. It's not a bad trade. If the Knicks can do this, yeah, definitely. You pair Jay Nivey with RJ Barrett. I, I like that a lot. Oklahoma City Thunder also get Jay Nivey, it looks like. So, number two, the Sacramento Kings for number four, and a lottery protected pick, 2024 first round pick. Okay. So, instead of the Thunder wanting to get uh, Chet Holmgren, the Kings get him, it looks like, and then uh, the Thunder pair along uh, Shea and Josh, or and Shea, Josh Giddy, and Jay Nivey, but I think the Thunder should just draft Chet Holmgren, to be honest. I don't like that trade for the Thunder. They should just draft a big. They really need an elite big, and Chet Holmgren could do that. Orlando Magic. Trade number... Why? Trade number one and number 32, the Oklahoma City Thunder for number two and a 20. Okay, we're just doing something to be doing something. No. Let's just move on. That's just not even smart. All right. The Pacer... Or what is this? The 76ers. Okay, 76ers trade. Tobias Harris, Matisse Thibel, and number 23 to the Indiana Pacers for Brogdon. And Buddy Heald. So they get rid of Thiable, who's been a negative on the offensive end. They also trade number 23. But they bring in Brogdon and Buddy Heald to replace Tobias Harris. So you'd be really logjam at the guard spot, though. When you, you'd have James Harden, who, assume, who you assume will be back. Maxi Brogdon is definitely a guard. Buddy Heald, I guess, can technically play the wing spot. But I think this is too big of a logjam at the forward or at the guard spot. But other than that, I would like it if there was a forward in the trade, but I don't know. It's okay. I I, I mean, the Pacers getting Matisse Dabble number 23 is, a, is fine, I guess. But not for both of them. I don't know. I don't think I like that trade all that much. Phoenix Suns, it's another Jeremy Grant trade. That's already been taken care of. Jay Crowder, 2023 first round pick. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen because Jeremy Grant's already a blazer. All right, let's see this one. Portland Trailblazers. Okay, this is the Lou Dort one. Number seven, this actually could still happen, Loki. So number seven to the Oklahoma City Thunder for number 12 in Lou Dort. I think this is definitely something that could potentially happen if the Blazers don't get OG and Anobi tonight. If they don't get OG and Anobi, I could definitely see this happening. But we'll see. I think Lou Dort would be our bench shooting guard, I assume, or bench small for, I don't know. Because Lou Dort's 6'3", but he's really big. Like He's like a big guy, obviously. So he plays good defense, but I just don't know if I'd love him starting at small forward. So... We'll see. I think the Blazers could do this tonight, though, for sure. This could happen. Sacramento Kings. They take, they trade number four. Maurice Hargulis to the Washington Wizards for Kyle Kuzma, Denny of Dia, number 10. So they were supposed to get Kyle Kuzma in the Buddy Heel trade. Obviously, that didn't happen. They get Denny of Dia, number 10. So they trade number four. I don't like this trade. I just don't. Kuzma and Denny of Dia don't move the needle all that much. And you're trading down six spots. You're potentially passing up on Jaden Ivey, who could maybe be something really good. No. If the Wizards could do this, sure. Because this could, like, help their rebuild process of Beelies. But, yeah, nah. San Antonio Spurs. Let's see what they do. Number nine and number 22, Detroit Pistons for number five. 
So the Pistons move all the way down to number nine. I don't like that for Detroit. I think they should draft either Jay Nivey, Shaden Sharp, or Keegan Murray at number five. Whatever falls to them and whatever's there, I think you draft. I don't, I don't like this idea for the Pistons to move down number nine. I don't. Uh, or Benedict Matherin at number five as well is also a possibility. So, no, nah, I'm not a big fan of it. If the Spurs can do this, definitely. Definitely, definitely do this. Because then Spurs can move up and get whatever I just said. You know what I mean? You get one of those four players, whoever falls. Toronto, Gary Trent Jr., Kim Birch, number 33 to the Hornets for Oubre and 15. Why? No, no. Come on now. Why would we trade Gary Trent for freaking Oubre? I guess you get a first-round pick out of it. Not a big fan, though. Not a big fan. We're not doing that. Utah Jazz. Let's see what they do. Nasir Little, Eric Bledsoe, Josh Hart, number seven, and a first-round pick to the Utah Jazz for Rudy Gobert. No. I, I don't. I, dude, as a Blazers fan, I don't want Gobert, dude. I just don't. But that's way too much to be given up. Nasir Little, Josh Hart are two of our best bench pieces right now. And you're trading number seven for Gobert when we should just be resigning Nurkic and calling it good. No, if I'm a Blazers fan, I don't want to do this. And plus, we can't trade a future first. So uh, we all of our picks, well, all of our picks are locked up because of that uh, Bulls trade that we made with for Larry Nance. Wizards get Andrew Russell. So yeah, this was the kind of thing I was talking about. Kyle Kuzma, KCP to the Timberwolves for Andrew Russell. So obviously, the Wizards are looking to get a guy to pair alongside uh, Bradley Beal to prove, you know, to show Bradley Beal, hey, we're trying to, we're trying to win. So if the Wizards can pull this off and keep Beal, I think I like it. Uh, the Timberwolves, on the other hand, getting Kuzma and KCP, it's fine, I guess. I, I don't know what DeAndre Russell's value is. So, But yeah, man, that was this article. So definitely some interesting trades, some ones I didn't like, and some that I thought were interesting. Shout out to Grant Hughes over at Bleacher Report. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy draft night. I'll see you guys in the live, potentially, but this is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.